What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over my top five, I guess you could say. There's a couple more baits on here that you could say like top seven or whatever, you know. But I'm going to, going to be going over some of my favorite baits for bass in the summer. Um, I'm a little bit late on this video just because I actually thought I had already filmed this video and uploaded it earlier in the year, but I was looking back and I hadn't. I had filmed one for the spring and then winter was last year, but I hadn't done one for the summer. So um, I guess here's the video for you guys. I'm, like I said, I'm just a tad late, but for some of the, for you guys who are northern dudes, um, this video will you'll you're just you're getting into summer you're breaking through right now um, so I've kind of got it into the three categories you've got top water you've got middle of the water column baits and then you've got like I've got some jigs and Texas rig and that kind of stuff stuff that's on the bottom okay so I'm also looking at a perspective from me um, as I do a lot of pond fishing and some lake fishing, some like little local lakes and that kind of thing. Or if I go on a trip and there's a lake there, I'll fish there. But this is mainly like for some ponds and uh, some, I guess you could, you could say lakes as well. So starting off, uh, we've got a, this is the top water section. I'm going to kind of work top water and then uh, we've got some chatter baits, swim jigs, swim baits, that kind of stuff, and then we'll get on to the jigs and Texas rigs. But first of all, we've got a juicy little frog right there. Frogs, you guys have seen as of lately, are some of my favorite baits to use in the summer. Um, I love these things. This is my favorite frog right here. Um, the Lunker, no, the Live Topper, yeah, the Live Target Hollow Belly Frog right there. It's a juicy one, works super well, but. Um, yeah, I love frog fishing. Popping frogs, walking frogs, they both catch fish. Um, I used to use a lot of popping frogs until I, uh, until I found this guy. And this guy just catches lots of fish. I've caught lots of big fish on this one as well. So it's a great one if you're, if you're fishing a pond or a lake that's really muddy, or not muddy, if it's really grassy. Um, and uh, frogs, you can just go toss, toss, toss it on top of the grass and uh, get some awesome blow-ups. Blow-ups on frogs are like juicy. Um, so next is uh, a buzz bait, and this is these. Those are the only two topwater baits I have, or I have. I'm showing in the, today's video, but um, buzz baits. You guys have seen me use some buzz baits. Actually, you know what? I'll pick one so it doesn't look like it's a big old collection of one. Um, yeah, a buzz bait right there. So uh, maybe see if it won't focus on my face. There we go. A juicy old buzz bait. You guys have seen me fishing with this a little bit in some ponds and uh, golf courses and that kind of stuff. Whoa, it's windy. All right. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, but yeah, buzz baits are super good. They're not very good in grass. Um, if you guys watched my roulette challenge, one of the baits was a buzz bait and there was lots of grass in that pond. Um, I, uh, I just wanted to get the challenge with um, and I actually caught the biggest fish of that video on a buzz bait. So um, sometimes it'll work in grass, um, but I love throwing these on the edges of grass where there's open water and not really much grass. Uh, but if you do have some, some pretty big pockets in the grass, you can always toss one of these in there. But um, I do love black. Black is really good for me uh, in my ponds uh, for buzz baits. So I've got this one. Um, and I also love War Eagle buzz baits. There's a there's a striking one right there that I have yet to use, and then another another one. So buzz baits are super good, but that kind of covers the top water section. Now getting into the moving baits. Um, number one is a chatter bait. Um, you guys have seen me fish a lot with chatter baits as of recently. Got that little juicy little blade on there. This is an imitator bait chatter bait. If you guys haven't checked out imitator baits, it's a company that I own personally, so it helps out the channel. Um, any money that I get back from there, I use to buy new camera gear, trips, new rods and reels, new baits and everything. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys for uh, for supporting me, those of you who have already. But if you guys haven't checked out whoops, imitator baits already, go check them out. Uh, you guys can also use my code LMB10 for 10% off. Uh, but chatter baits work super well. They're pretty good in grass, um, especially these ones. These ones work really well in grass, um, and they, they don't get much grass on them. Um, and uh, yeah, these these baits have caught me some big fish. A small fish will eat this too, like little one pounders. But you know who doesn't love a little one pounder? You know, a little flare fish. But 
big bass catchers right there. I don't think I'm going to go into this bait too much, too much, too much longer because I use it in lots of videos. Um, next, we have the swim jig right there. This is also an imitator baits swim jig right there. This is uh, in a bluegill color, as you guys can see. And this is great for a little bit clearer water um, because when you have a blade right there, it puts off lots of vibration. The swim jig is like a chatterbait, or in this case, imitator baits myself, we call this a bladen jig. Um, but it doesn't have a blade on it. So it's pretty much, it's like a chatterbait with no blade. Um, so it's, it's a little bit better in clearer water um, and because the fish can see the bait. They don't need that vibration. And it looks a little bit, you can get these normally a little bit more natural, I guess you could say. Um, but swim jigs work really well. I used this uh, a little bit ago in some uh, some golf course ponds, and it worked excellent. So um, that's a swim jig. That's a great one. It's great for imitating any sort of bait fish. Um, shad. We've got shad colors on imitatorbaits.com. Link is down in the description. Uh, we've got shad color, bluegill colors, and then we've also got our specialty color, the red, white, and blue merkin color. So. Um, go pick you up some of those for 4th of July if you haven't already. Um, next, this is for some of you guys um, who would like to throw big baits and like big swim baits as well. This is the Mega Bass Mag Draft right there. A juicy looking swim bait right there. Um, I haven't caught tons of fish on this bait, but the fish that I have caught on here are have been studs. Um, I don't think I've really caught too many small fish like little one pounders on here but I have caught some big fish on this bait and it works really well just toss it out reel it back in um, and you, it doesn't it doesn't really get much grass um, there's like a little little hook slot on the bottom right there um, where you, you the treble hook just kind of slides in and sticks right there there's also a magnet right there so it doesn't get much grass and doesn't normally get hung up too much uh, which I like but uh, that's another great bait and uh, with doing that bait, that covers the moving baits section. So I know I didn't cover a crankbait, um, which crankbaits are also great, but for my ponds, most of my ponds have lots of grass. I can really, out of all my ponds that I've fished so far in my area, I could probably throw a crankbait in maybe like one to three places. Um, so I don't, I don't normally put crankbaits on my list uh, for my top five because I'm going off of my top five. Uh, this isn't like somebody else's top five. This is mine, so I don't really use crankbaits. But crankbaits, they also work really well in uh, in some lakes and and ponds if if you don't have much grass. Um, and next, we're gonna get on to the Texas rigs and jigs. So um, if you guys have lots of grass, I don't normally throw lots of jigs. Um, most of my jigs are either football jigs, which don't do too good in grass, um, or they're ball heads, imitator baits, baller jigs. Um, which are ball head and they're not the they're not the best for grass okay we'll just say that uh, they're not meant for grass they're kind of an all-around jig so they do lots of things pretty good okay and grass fishing is not one of them um, you can flip with them and cast them out and just hop them back and everything but and they work great for that but um, Texas rigs I love for fishing grass so um, I've got my little Texas rig box right here I might actually do a video on like these tiny little boxes. Um, I've got two of them, one for uh, one for Texas rigs and one for drop shots, and they're like super helpful. But getting back to the actual video, um, Texas rigging. So um, I've been using a lot of the uh, the Guggenbaits uh, Bandito bug right here. Um, this one works really well. I've got like four packs of these. Like this one is Summer Crawl. Actually, I just kind of picked one, but. These ones work really well. You can flip it in there. It looks like a little crawfish dangling down. Um, I've caught some caught some good fish on this um, on this bait. So, uh, but I don't like I, I like I was saying. I don't normally use a whole lot of jigs and grass um, just because they don't they don't get they get some grass. Okay, Texas rigs are a little bit more weedless. They've got a real thick point or. A real good like point to them so that the point of that bullet weight kind of goes into the grass and slices through there um, with kind of like a jig like I've got a, a football jig right here it kind of it's it's a big head so it kind of like goes through that grass and it catches on some of the grass uh, when you're bringing it through there but Texas rigs are pretty good you can also try the crag and crawl 
any crawl really works. I just kind of picked my favorite one, uh, but I really love this one. So Texas rigging is, is a great one for grass. Um, and then this is kind of like a side bait. I don't, uh, or a side extra bait, I guess you could say. I think I've already covered like five baits at least here, but this is for you guys who are uh, who are lake fishermen. Um, and this is a football jig, and uh, you, you guys can throw like uh, Texas rigs and that kind of stuff, but football jigs normally do really well in lakes. And this is actually a uh, custom color that I made myself, um, and the paint is even, I've tried to use it so much that the paint is starting to wear off on the head. but. This is great for rocks, um, and that's why the why the head is so scratched up and everything. But this is great. It looks like a crawfish, super natural. Um, you guys can pick these up on imitatorbaits.com in black and blue, like natural colors, green pumpkin, um, merkin, the red, white, and blue color, um, all sorts of colors for these guys, and they work really well uh, for crawling around the rocks and everything. Just a little crawfish dangling right there. Give it a good old dangle and you can catch some slaunches. So, jigs are really well, uh, or work really well on, uh, on lakes and everything. Get you down deep and uh, you can catch some fish down there. So, um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this little video right here and enjoyed my top five to seven or however many baits I have here. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for subscribing, all you guys who are uh, who are new fellows to the channel and those of you who are watching this through my Instagram links. And uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go check out Fly South Apparel. I'm going to have an order coming in from them here very soon, actually right before I leave for North Carolina. You guys, have, you guys know that, about that a little bit. Um, so stay tuned to my Instagram. You guys will see some of that, some of the new products coming in. And uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.